those windows activation keys do not expire they're not supposed to expire so it's not like it expires after a couple of years and then or a few years and you're supposed to buy another one that's not the way it works what i did was just simply do a, a factory reset on my computer i know it sounds bad a factory reset you're gonna lose all your stuff but no all we have to do is go to the settings and from the settings go to update and security and when we get to update and security just go to recovery and from recovery select get started and when you select get started it'll give you an option to restart the computer or do a factory reset with a computer all right so while i was editing the video i, I noticed two things i left out it's very important one it's not really one of two things but just in case you need to know the version of windows i have is it's the home edition but the two things you need to know one when you do this if you do this use the cloud option so it'll give you two options to to do the restore one is local one is cloud the cloud it uses the windows version that you have it gets it from the internet and brings it to your computer if you use the local option it'll try to back up what you already have in your computer but if you're having this problem most likely you do not have the activation key on your computer so that's why you need to use the cloud version because if you do the local version i don't believe it'll work and the second thing is what this does is actually reinstalls the version of windows that you have so if you did what i did i think i just deleted something by accident one day and i lost my activation key so this this method will reinstall the activation key and everything else you need for your for your computer to work properly. The start will take a while. So if you plan on using your computer for that day, <laughs> don't don't do this. It's about at least like 12 hours to do this. But this is the normal process when you're reinstalling your Windows version. So it was worth it. So I no longer have the the watermark at all has disappeared. The most important thing is all your files, once you use the, the option to keep all your stuff, your files will still be there. The thing you have to do is kind of just the settings, like you may see my mouse, you gotta change the settings over again. Do stuff like small stuff, like uh, my little profile picture here. Yeah, that little small profile picture. Yeah, just a little small stuff you gotta change once you do the re uh, restart. But besides that, it's, it's worth it. But that's all I got for you. Much love to each and every one of you guys. I'm your downloading pirate, and I'm out.